what is your take on just like the mental health system? And like, do you find there's any like flaws or like things that needs to be changed in order to- Yeah, for sure, for sure. It, it definitely has, I think on the basis of just, of what it stands for, trying to help people that, you know, don't have access or the resources to maybe pay for, you know, therapy or whatever like that. I think, you know, being able to, being able to provide services, you know, through the realm of DMH. I think that is, that is good, but it's, it, it got some bogus aspects. Uh, so, sometimes depending on the agency that you're with, the focus is far more on the productivity mm. uh, than the progress. Yeah. And that is a very, very, that is, that is something that is very flawed about okay. the system. In other words, me and you could be working at an agency, right? Mm-hmm. And here I am, you got more productivity than me, but I got all these success stories. I've really, mm-hmm. I've reunited families. I've done everything in this past month, but when it's time at the, at the, when it's time for the all staff meeting, everybody got to come in there. They going to call Terrence to the front to go get that $5, uh, you know, target gift card because he hit his productivity, <laughs> not because EJ. Yeah. Then took this kid, this at-risk kid, and mm-hmm. you know, has turned his life around. So, you know what I'm saying? The focus is far more on productivity than it is uh, actually about, you know, cl- the cl- client's progress. You know what I'm saying? Depending, I, and I can't speak, it's not, I can't necessarily speak broadly because I haven't been at every agency, but just in my experience, for a lot of the times, that's where the compensation is. You get compensated, you know, if you hit your productivity mark. You get a there's a bonus for productivity uh hitting. Not for progress. You can say you can save Le Antoine. Look, when when you met Le Antoine, he could have been going upside his mama's head. Yeah, I'm talking about giving the business, like just yeah. really. By the time he didn't he didn't met with you, you know, what I'm saying over the past ninety days, completely different kid. Yeah. If it is not if the, if that, but if your productivity is poor, they just gonna say, well, that's good for Antoine. Eric, yeah, you need to step it up though. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's <laughs> yeah, and so that's a you know that is a flaw part. Uh, you know, of the system. And I don't, I'm not sure what, how they would, you know, ever rectify that. Yeah. And that's, I think it's kind of backwards for sure. Cause you know, with some of the funding, they get it up front and whatever, I don't know how, from my understanding, how it works is they get the money up front and then they give them a number that they're going to produce beforehand and, you know, to get the money again for, for the next year. I guess that's the business side of it, but what that creates, as you're saying, like it turns a lot of people off from working for agencies and actually doing like really good work. You know what I mean? Like for sure, um, for sure, because, because you know it's not. You know that's why they have so much. They have such high turnover rate. Yeah, a lot of these they they have very very high turnover rate. Luckily, I was with one uh, for the past uh, six years that mm. high, the turnover rate was not as high because. Mm. Uh, they were very much invested in the in the clients like you know um, they did a, a great deal of work but I've seen some where it ain't like that and I've also heard stories from people that are may have been at other agencies or whatever that it's been like man <laughs> That's right. I don't care how much I don't care how 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 much you changed a person's life if that productivity don't look right they gonna you 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 gonna get that that net that second notice <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> right i've seen i've seen great people get fired i've seen man get and it's like you know it's really sad and it's not really you know about you know one of the flaws i would say in addition to what you're saying is the focus becomes more on the therapist than the actual work you know what i mean there you go. So like there you go you know you might have an amazing therapist doing amazing things running groups going on especially if you're in the field you know what i mean if you're going to people's homes and stuff like that but you know, say for example, that therapist may want to take some time off, right? And they take like a week off, right? So that week of productivity, those 40 hours that you're working, you still have to make up when yeah. you come back. So like, how are you supposed to do 80 hours of work at 40 hours, right? So like, yeah. you have to like play catch up. And that was one of the things uh, with one of the agencies I worked with, I was like, this is there's no way I'm gonna catch up. You know, we can, yeah. talk, we can talk about productivity and, you know, this, that, and the third, but there's no way I'm about to do 80 hours of work in, in 40 hours. Like, you know, yeah. like I, I was even doing overtime, you know, crisis calls and stuff like that. And it was like, 
you know, just, and you just, still not gonna be able to catch it. And plus, you know, I'm like, I don't want your little target car. Right. I'm cool. You can yeah. have all that. <laughs> that and then, you know, I think the other uh flaw part about, you know, sometimes in dealing with community mental health mm -hmm. is the excessive amount of documentation. Mm. The documentation takes away from say the day hey, T, the documentation will drain you so cold on everything. Yeah. That you ain't even got time to mm. think about, you know what I'm saying, to really, really submerge yourself and really try to help the client sometimes because you're thinking about this freaking you know this assessment uh this intake packet that you got to have complete by this time by this date by you know this treatment plan these goals and all that kind of stuff and you multiplying that by about 17 it becomes a lot yeah absolutely I, yeah that's that's something i hope my hopes is that that dynamic can change because yeah it needs to for sure because it's, it's it's too much. That is, it, it breaks. It will break you. That documentation will, will break you. It's, it's, it's too much. It doesn't have to be. I don't. I, it does not have to be that much. Mm -hmm. They can trim that down by about seventy percent, and I think, I think everything will still be okay. Everything will be perfectly fine. It'll be perfectly fine. You going into a house? I remember before. You know, everything became just on the computer, you know, now uh, pre-COVID when you was, you know, we would still be walking in the homes with packets, you know, saying that we'd be filling out and stuff like that, that we would have to eventually submit to our uh, QM department or whatever. I remember sometime I'd be coming in there, they'd be like, Eric, I have nothing to fill out all that paperwork. Are you serious? I was like, yeah, we got to do it. I'm sorry, man. We got to do it though. They were like, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Just add little signature, signature. It was like, gosh, dang. Yeah, tedious. Yeah, a whole lot. So, and I think that there's a, I guess there's a, there's a, uh, a liability aspect to it that they, you know, that they want to, you know, not um, have to encounter. But it's just like it's, it's still a whole lot. It's a lot on the practitioner. Yeah. Because you want, you want them to do that. Mm -hmm. You want them to serve the client you want them to document the client you want them to go to all the different uh meetings you want to do all the collaborate you know what i'm saying it's, it's a lot most definitely most definitely it's a lot of a lot of unnecessaries for sure. yeah a lot of a lot of unnecessaries and again i hope that's something that can change um so i mean for anybody listening or watching this if you are sometimes somebody like I'll talk to a client they're like, well, you're like my fifth therapist. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's, it's hard to say like, you know, the reason why, but you can kind of see why because the system isn't really built around the client, it's built around, you know, monetizing off the therapist. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So not every agency is like that. Like you were saying, there is some that, you know, do really well. The one I work at is, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty decent, it's pretty well. Um, doesn't have a high turnover, turnover rate at all like that. But um, some agencies I have worked at, and it's like, you're my, like my fifth therapist this year. And it's like, yeah, it's wicked. <laughs> it's, it, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's real tricky. It's real wicked. Um, but, you know, that that's, again, who the person that this is at a disadvantage is the client. You know what I mean? More than oh, anything. very much. Not very much. The therapist, we can go find another job. We can you know, explore the options and do some other things. But at the end of the day, it's the client that's really having to have to deal with all these things, yeah. and like have to reintroduce their problems and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So like that, for me, that's always the, um, you know, the, the by factor of um, people participating in the treatment and, you know, with these high turnover rate agencies because of the system and how, you know, they, how they build out their their plans for the fiscal year, I guess. You and, and and here's the thing, in defense of a lot of the uh, agencies, you know, I can't, like I said, I can't speak for every agency, but a lot of the agencies are just carrying out what they're told to do. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the nonprofit agencies that are, at, that are through DMH, that are affiliated with DMH, they can only do what they're told to do. You know what I'm saying? The stuff comes all the way from Sacramento and they just got to, you know, roll with it under a contract. and uh, but i think that's where your leadership comes into play when you're in, when you have people in leadership like the agency that i was uh previously with we had you know impeccable leadership and i think that's the reason why the turnover rate the work would be hard a lot of times but the turnover rate never really necessarily you know was never too high because people appreciated good leadership uh people that 
you know, were able to, you know, display empathy and really understand and say, look, this is a lot, guys. We're going to do as much as we can to advocate to see if we can get some of this decreased. Mm 